Amen. Let's give me a wonderful shout of joy. He's a wonderful God. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Can we honor the author of the universe, Jesus Christ himself? He is a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do we love him? Let's honor the one who died for the for everyone, for the nations, for everyone. He died for all. Let's honor him. Can we honor Jesus Christ? Blessed viewer all over the world, we are honoring Jesus Christ himself. Where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. As long as we gather, we are being assembled. When we are assembled, it means we have been raised up. What is flat is not assembled. So he took us out of dusty ashes and raised us up. We are seated with him because of his love, of his mercy. So we welcome you in this awesome presence of God where we are together with you, wherever you are, we are together. Whatever is going to happen here, you will never be missed. Not in a single part of your life shall escape the power of God. We thank God for bringing us together. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for prayers. Thank you for helping us so that the door can be opened into these mysteries. We thank you for tuning in. We love you. We appreciate you in Jesus' name. Amen. Just welcome your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, God is with you. Tell your neighbor, God loves you. Say, God loves you. Just tell them, God really loves you. Tell your neighbor, you are loved from above. Say, you are loved from above. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for him. Amen. So without a waste of time, I would like us to give and so that we can go on. Hallelujah. 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 Do we love giving? Are we in love with giving? Say, I'm in love. I'm in love. Don't be in love. Be in love. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm in love. The Apostle Paul said, We should not forsake the words of our Lord Jesus Christ when he said, It is more blessed to give than to. So if you give, you are blessed. Be sure of a testimony. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because somebody can receive. Anybody who receives does not qualify to give a testimony. Because the one who is blessed is the one who gives. So the one who gives must come and give us a testimony concerning the blessing. Are we clear? Are we clear? You may live to receive, to receive, to receive, but there's no generation of blessing because you're not giving to anybody. Are we clear? So generation of giving, it's a proof to show that there's a blessing in your life. Are we clear? Are we clear? So in, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, the Apostle Paul talks about the grace which was with those people who were giving in chapter, in chapter 8. Because they begged the Apostle Paul to join him in the ministration of giving. It says they gave. But now, because of the grace, even though they gave, they gave out of the deep poverty and even the more. How can you give more if you are in poverty? So the blessing generated, I don't know if somebody gets it. So the blessing was able to show that there's a generation of giving. Because they couldn't stop giving, but they were poor. So grace was there to make sure that they continued. Are we clear? Are we clear? So you might say, I don't have money, I don't have... You. But the moment you have their character, in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, when you have that character, I'm telling you, grace will begin to speak for you. That's why we have chapter 8 and chapter 9. Chapter 9, don't think of money because it says God loves a cheerful giver. It's from chapter 8. It says God loves a cheerful giver. Then what is the blessing say? God says, all grace shall abound to you. 
All grace, many people want to give money to get money. What about all grace? All grace, it's the fullness of God living in you. Are we clear? What about all grace? Because some people want to say, I have grace for money. Those people have got grace for money. Ah, what about all grace? So grace for money, you might end up worshiping money. And you must check people who say there's grace for money there. Already there's a worshiper there. Because God says, <laughs> God says, do not worship God and money. But people who talk about grace for money, no, remove the word grace and put God for money. Because you are worshiping that. Are we clear? Look, in other words, where there's no all grace, there's some kind of an idol worship. Huh? John 1 from verse 16, it says, out of his fullness, we all have a share. Out of his fullness, not out of some one type of grace, which is of, no, there's idol worship there. It says, out of his fullness, we all have a share. All of us, not all have a share from his fullness. It is one grace after another, spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, favor upon favor, and gifts heaped upon gifts. So if there's no spiritual blessing, but there's a Grace for money, it's an idol. So, just remove the word grace. So, if you come to such people in Second Corinthians chapter 8, would you follow them because you saw grace for money? Because it says, out of their deep poverty, they even gave. And they begged Paul to do even more. So, when they begged him, they kept on giving, so it generated it generated. It generated. Now, when you go to chapter 9, it says, All grace shall abound to you. And what is it saying? And God cannot afford to lose a cheerful giver. So, when all grace abounds to you, you get it? When all grace abounds to you, God cannot afford to lose it. But if you worship a mammon, huh? If, if, you, if you worship mammon, are we clear? That's your God. Let him protect you. Let him cover you. Let him anoint you. Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? That chapter says, all grace shall abound to you. A cheerful giver yeah. does not only receive a blessing of money. A cheerful giver, all grace abounds to him. And God cannot afford to lose him. That's why when you read Philippians chapter 2, Epaphroditus was a messenger who made sure that the gifts that come from the Philippians are administered well in the ministry of the apostle because those people were giving. They were giving. The Philippians were the first church to partner with the ministry of the Apostle Paul. So that's why chapter 1, Paul starts by saying, I thank you for a sympathetic cooperation. I thank you for your partnership. I thank you for doing it with me. Are we clear? Are we clear? But in chapter 2, who was in charge of making sure that those gifts, uh, that administration of the, 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 that ministry goes well? It was Epaphroditus. And the devil went after him. He nearly died. But the Apostle Paul says, God could not allow him to die because of what he's doing. Are we clear? God, no. So, if you are doing it to a real ministry where all grace is, I don't know if somebody gets this, where there is all grace, are we clear? Not just grace for certain things, but all grace, where we all have a share. Once you do it to such ministry, don't worry, the devil is looking at you. But God is also saying, you will not touch. Because God cannot afford to lose such people. Are we clear? So, why say one grace after another, spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, is, Blessed be the God, the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who blessed us with all spiritual blessings. All grace coming upon us. So, if it's a spiritual blessing is not money, remember, ne? Remember, no? huh? when you give, you don't see money raining from heaven, eh? all right? 
So spiritual blessing attracts. It's like seek ye first the kingdom. Seek ye first what? The kingdom and its righteousness. And all shall be added. So if all grace abounds unto you, so things are just added. God just adds. What can I add today? Let me add. What can I add today? What can I add today? What can I add? God just adds. Listen, it says, seek ye the kingdom and his righteousness. It doesn't say, and pray for what can be added. It doesn't say, and pray for. So your main issue is just to seek the kingdom and its righteousness, and God will just see, I want to add, I want to add, I want to add. John chapter 6, God, Jesus saying to them, now we must understand. Remember that the disciples said to him in John chapter 16, ah, now you speak to us clearly. You no longer speak to us in parables. When it's all grace, you hear him clearly. You see him clearly. Are we clear? Because it's all grace. And now he says, now you can ask the Father in my name. And whatever. Whatever. He says, what? He says, I want you to get that part. Whatever. Why? He overcame the world. The very last part, he says, take heart, I overcome. Don't be troubled. So I overcame the world. If you overcame the world, the kingdom has come. Don't be troubled now. Don't be troubled. I mean, if you are troubled, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, if you are troubled, you'll say it's too much. But out of the deep poverty, they kept on giving. They were not troubled. They even begged, Paul, let's do it, let's do it. Because of the grace, what happened? Edit, edit, edit. Are we clear? So now, I want you to get this. I want you to get this. There's a difference between asking and calling. Are we clear? So, if God in Jeremiah 33 says, call unto me. Call unto me. So you call him. Revelation 21, the dwelling of God is with men. So where God lives, that's where man lives. As he is in heaven, so are we here on earth. So you're looking for the gold in heaven when, you, when you're living in God here. Huh? You're with him. I, I want you to understand this. You're looking for, so if the dwelling of God is with men, are we clear? The dwelling where God lives, you get it? I mean, that's where we speak, let there be, let there be, we add this, we add this, we add this, we add this. You reach a level where you qualify. Everybody who meets with you, you add to their lives. <laughs> why? Let's get it, let's get it. You add to their lives. Now, why did the Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 2, when he met with Peter and other disciples, he says, when we met with them, they realized that the same grace which was in me was in them. But they added nothing to me. So when you reach that level, whoever you meet, whoever you meet, he says, they added nothing to me. So if you can learn to carry the fullness of God, you meet people who come and say, man of God, I don't have job, I don't have, you'll tell them about a spiritual blessing, which is supposed to be in the life, not the money, but when you bring the spiritual blessing, they recover everything. Everything becomes added unto them. It becomes added. It becomes added. That's why when he met with Peter and others, he says, but they added nothing to me. So if you reach the level where you can add to people's lives, are we clear? Not by the gift causing them to have a job. Hallelujah. You get it? By the gift bringing healing. By the gift. No. I'm talking about the fullness. Where you add into someone else's life. You come, you say, I need healing. But Jesus says, you are made whole. <laughs> you, you understand this, no? That's why they're questioning how can you forgive sins? What is better? You are healed or you are? Huh? Huh? So which one is better? If you are forgiven, you are without sin. Things can just be added in your life. So it's just like the other side. We talked about it with attachments because it's 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 22. Now, what does he say? He said, do not be quick in laying your hand of hands, lest you share one another's sins. So if it's sin, you add a sin. You can add sin or you can add a... Are we clear? You can add. He says, 
He says, do not be hasty in laying on of this, lest to share one another's sins. John 1, out of his fullness, we all have a share. So it is either it's the fullness or you add the sin to somebody else's life. So if you add, is somebody learning it? Is somebody learning it? Because you must reach a level where you can add it. Because some people, when, if you go to, 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 to the same uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it says all grace abounds to you. So anybody who meets such a person, something will be added into your life. So you come, you give your money. You get it? You give me money. You are a prostitute, by the way. What is added? He says, no, you have been with you all along. Even I came to your house, Simon, you didn't even give me a cup of water to drink. But look at this one. Look at this one. He who loves much is forgiven much. And he who loves less is forgiven less. So your approach when you are with him also matters. Your approach with him matters. Are we clear? Are we clear? So this is what we need to understand as Christians. There's a level which you need to reach. Okay, somebody asked this question. The same Galatians chapter 2, remember he said, they realized that the same grace which was in him was in them, meaning Peter and others. He said they were reputed to be pillars of the church, but they added nothing to me. He says the only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the poor. The only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the, the poor. The only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the poor. Where did Paul get it? You must get it. That's what they were doing in Acts chapter 4, chapter 5. They were sharing what they had and everything. It was just that part only. It was the only Someone does not get it. Get it. He says the only stipulation they made was that we should take care of them. That's what they used to do in Acts chapter 4, chapter 5. They broke bread daily, but they never understood what it meant. They never understood Holy Quimit. They never understood what comes out of the book, out of the bread. They never understood. They never understood the blood. That, that's why they didn't even teach about it. They were only breaking it. There are some things you can share, but you can, even, you can never even explain Therefore, the manifestation of what is inside does not happen. So you're only eating and God can lose you. Why? If you don't do it in the right way, you get sick and you die before time. So if you don't do it in the right way, that's why we see moth coming to eat. So that's what the Apostle Paul told them. He said the only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the poor. So it was not all grace. It was grace for sharing money. But it was not all grace that abounds. Is somebody getting it? So that's why he started telling Peter, he said, you put the grace of God aside. Because what you do, by what you do, you even cause everybody to leave. Barnabas left Paul and joined Peter because of the wrong that he did. Are we clear? So it's a teaching on its own. God helps us to understand that even if we are ministers, when God sends you to the Gentiles, never compromise. Are we clear? Are we clear? So, because of compromising, the Apostle Paul had to tell them straight, says, you put the grace of God aside. What grace? Because now he said the only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the poor. It means money was running among Peter and others. Money was running, giving to the poor. But God did not approve it. As the Apostle Paul says, it was the only stipulation they made. So Paul says, this is the thing I was eager to do. But he was not yet doing it. That's why you go to Acts chapter 23, Acts chapter 24. You'll see how the Apostle Paul prospered. Because he looked for spiritual blessing upon his life, which attracts everything. Are we clear? So that's why we say, seek, look for God, ne? seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness, and all shall be added. Are we clear? There are people who look for money, even you are here. But the kingdom, we are not looking for the kingdom. Where there's the kingdom, there's its manifestation. Where there's the kingdom, 
the manifestation of the kingdom is seen. Are we clear? So, and where does the manifestation of the kingdom? I want us to get this. Saying to Peter, go to the mouth of a fish, it was a manifestation of the kingdom. Are we clear? Because all things shall be added. Look, um, the riches of the sinners are laid up for the just. So when sinners labor, it's not a manifestation of the kingdom. It only becomes a manifestation of the kingdom when it comes to the righteous. Are we clear? Because where he is, it attracts what they did not labor for. Because if you labor for it, you fall in Genesis chapter 3, you sweat, you work the ground, but there's somebody waiting for it. Are we clear? Are we clear? So, let God be the one to minister to us in terms of giving. Are we clear? Are we clear? A blessing, spiritual blessing. You get it? Spiritual blessing. It takes us to the fullness of God. Are we clear? It takes us where there's life because seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. You have life. Because I've met, there are many people who see them, there's a lot of money, but they are poor. Simply because they don't have life in them. Where there's no life, never be misled by the calculation or multiplication of what they do. Are we clear? Are we clear? Because where there's life, are we clear? There's no sharing of one another's sins. It's adding life unto people and all shall be added. Are we clear? So we must all reach a level where we meet people and things are added unto them. If you can't reach that level, you operate with the gift. While the grace of God is put aside. Are we clear? Are we clear? Do we love Jesus Christ? So it's a matter of understanding this. In our giving, we must know that we need to reach a certain level. Where whoever we meet, we add. When you meet someone and nothing is added unto you, that someone can give you money. You will be happy. But it's only money. It's only money. Are we clear? It's only what? It's only money. But when you, th there's a difference. These are two types of people. The one who is in the presence of God, the kingdom in its righteousness, when he reaches this level, he can add. That's why the apostle Paul says, but they added nothing to me. So it means there was money with Peter and others, but they could not any, add anything to Paul. Money could not do anything for Paul from them. <laughs> I think let's destroy the mentality of lovers of money. Are we clear? Because it says, it clearly says the only stipulation they made was that we should take care of the poor. It means there was a lot of money around them. But the apostle Paul says, but they could not add anything to me. So even when they come to the apostle Paul and say, take money, oh, it's nothing compared to what the apostle had. He's the one to add something to them. To maintain the presence. So they, at the moment, at that moment, Galatians 2, they never even had the presence of God upon them. Huh? Are we clear? Are we clear? So I want you to understand that out of his fullness, John 1 from verse 16, we all have a share. One grace after another spiritual blessing upon you, blessing, favor upon favor and gifts heaped upon gifts. So that's where we find the kingdom and its righteousness and all shall be added. Now it says pagan look for all these things. Pagans, they look for all these things. So pagans, they go for money. But a real Christian seek for the kingdom and its righteousness and all things are added. 
So, meaning the real Christian goes in front of everything. <laughs> I want you to hear, a real Christian goes in front of everything. He's a shepherd. A true shepherd walks in front of the sheep, walks in front of everything. He walks in front of everything. A true shepherd does not go behind them. He's in front of them. Wherever you go, he's the one who kills the moth, who removes the rust. It gets favor because it's now following you. He removes the rust. He kills the lion. He kills the bear. You, what's happening? You get it? So it's not just money, ordinary money following you. It comes as a sign. This sign shall follow them that believe. Are we clear? This sign shall follow them that. So it's a manifestation of the kingdom because it's from there. Huh? The riches of the sinners are laid up for the just. So let it follow you. Don't follow it. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, let it follow you. It says, these signs shall follow them that believe. So if you believe, such things, they are to follow. That's why it says, they shall be added. Are we clear? Are we clear? So let it look for you. <laughs> let it just what? Let it look for, for you. So God is here to bless us. Receive such glory. <laughs> Amen. Receive such, such glory. So when you meet a man, it's either they're going to add sin or they're going to add the greatness of God upon your life. It depends. Are we clear? So let's reach one level where we add into the lives of people. All these things shall be added unto, unto you. To God be the glory. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we believe in all grace now. Huh? All grace. God was pleased for his fullness to rest in his son, Colossians 1. Are we clear? He was pleased for his fullness to rest in his soul. As long as the fullness of God rests in you. Whoever you meet, you add into their lives. Are we clear? So, you meet with the son, says, no, the son comes, men of God, I've been suffering, I'm going through this, I'm there. God has been revealing it to me. We sit down, okay, let's talk, I'm going through financial trouble. No, it's not only this, God reveals this. Go minister. He sees things happening in his church. Things happening. All of a sudden, a month end, he checks the account. Money increases. But the moment he decided to turn his back, all of a sudden, everything goes down. Where does the fullness of God if you turn your back against the fullness of God, it will not be left without evidence to teach you that it's the fullness that causes this. There's always evidence, I would clear, to show that this is this, this is that. A son who rebels, you see, son who rebel, sons who rebel, you see, with their churches, with their ministry, with their progress. On them. But if they change, you see, now, what can be added unto you? So life is given unto you more than what you're looking for. Are we clear? So God is there to bless us together. So we are going to give. Are we ready to give? Is somebody excited to give? Are we excited to give? Is someone excited? I don't see excitement. Can I see your excitement? Some people when they're excited, they <laughs> so I love you, Jesus. Are we ready to give? So we got this product as well. You can just get them. We've got different types of t-shirts. Nice golf shirts. They go play golf with a Rabuni t-shirt. Huh? So just get these t-shirts and bless yourself. I'm dancing. What do you do? <laughs> So 
So get these DVDs. Bless yourselves, né? Get these DVDs. Get these messages, people. They are a blessing, né? Get the change lives. Pama matla kere kya bo feel or gina koi tsaro bo feel or tsaro. Kere beje mutatla bo feel or go off agajo. Koi catch up agajo. This side, if you can run this side, if you're slow, this side only. This side, this side, that side. Come on, go. Catch this crucifix, ne? Bless you. So, so just just buy these products. Go to the bookshop. Bless yourselves. Just go there and bless yourselves. Whatever we have there, you can buy. You can use a bank card if you don't have cash. Amen. Are we ready to give? Are we ready to give? So those who partner with RTV can partner. There are partnership forms with Anshas. So you can just take those partnership forms. Partner with us. Let's spread the gospel together. Let's become soldiers together. Like April of Religious, like the Philippian church, they, they partnered with the minister of Paul. They were the first church to make sure that they partner with the ministry of the post Paul, Luke 8, we found the women who made sure that out of their uh, possessions, out of the properties, they partnered with the minister of Jesus Christ. They made sure that every financial need is met in the minister of Jesus Christ. Wherever he went, those who were taking care of the ministry were these women through partnering. Amen. So I thank everyone who partnered and those who will partner in advance, I thank you because we've been doing this together for the glory of God. This is to spread good. Today, people know the truth because of you as well. You fought, you removed, and uh, if actually you removed another spirit which you were not aware of, you removed it. By giving, let money become a weapon, not what you worship. Use it. <laughs> Are we clear? Are we clear? So, we, we, we can partner. Those who are not from South Africa can still take the punishment forms but you'll rely on the banking details there. Those are from South Africa, you fill it, you sign it, you give it back. If you don't know how to fill it, go to the information desk. They will help you there on how to fill it for the glory of our Father. Amen. So we are going to tithe, we are going to offer it now. Those who don't have cash to give, you can use a bank card, go to, go to the bookshop. We've got those speed points. They take any card in and out of the country, you can go and use it and bless the Lord. Are we ready to give? Let's give for the... If you want me to bless your bank card, you can bring it. Those who want to do prophetic offering, you can go to the bookshop. They will give you account numbers for prophetic offering. You can do your prophetic offering then. Do it for the glory. Do we love giving?
Father, we give thanks. Thank you for blessing us and give us life from above. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet. Say, love you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm in love. I love Jesus Christ. I love him. I love him so much. I say, I love you, Lord. Do we love him? Do we really love him? I'm crazy about Jesus. Huh? I'm so crazy about him. He's wonderful. Do you really love him? Do you see what he does every time? Huh? Huh? He's so faithful. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So what he imparts on you, you are in his arm and no one can snatch you out. Amen. So God is with you all. Just expect the unexpected today. God is here to raise us together.
Just speak unto him. Just appreciate him. Offer a prayer of thanksgiving. Offer that prayer of thanksgiving.
I am in your midst. I'm here to reveal myself. And I cannot reveal myself without bringing you to myself. I'm here to reveal you and to reward you in the open. I'm here to expose and make you known. Yes, without choice. You are like those who are in the caves. Those who I'm calling them my remnants. I now take you out of the caves. I reveal you as a mystery unto nations. I reveal you. Many will look at, unto you and say, this is the unknown. This is what is unheard of. This is what we never expected. Yes, my church, you are the one that I reveal right now. Throughout this body, I will exercise my headship and many shall know that my whole headship is exercised in you. I'm with you, my church. I'm with you to reveal unto many to cause many to run and say truly God is with you truly we can see the master the maker with you I declare you blessed I declare life in you life has come to cause many to know and understand that I am the one here yes truly as I am here from above I am the same down here I'm here to give you life I'm here to take you by the hand and now behold I'm bars are broken mountains of human obstacles are flattened doors are opened and I will give you those treasures which people never knew of I will give you that which is hidden this is the moment where I release such this is the moment where I bless and raise those who are mine I declare you are mine I declare you live in my heart. I declare you live in my presence. I declare you are mine eternally. Yes, many nations shall know me through you. Through you, son. Through you, church. Through you, my beloved. Through you, I've revealed all things. And I've shown all that was not known. Let's give thanks unto him. is here to reveal himself those who have never known him today you shall know today you will know and understand that as apostles Paul spoke that I may know you and the power of resurrection not knowing anything but knowing you God wants us to know what he knows from now on what we do you'll do what you see and hear in our father's presence you are my friend as he spoke you are mine as he spoke and i brought you to myself as he spoke as he spoke i reveal myself as he spoke you are worthy of my intimacy 
Nibrakijano Zazazir Beleaka Leko Zonzuri is Shapre do Sensei Letra Dizo Zekebrani and also go Gunde did Braille Carroche Lev Zuzike Baradosi and the Heke Yes, you'll meet many and they will never part with you without knowing that you have added unto them. You have added a life, you have added my fullness. For my dwelling is with you, O son. Let's raise up holy hands unto you. Worship. He deserves your best. He deserves your best. In Jesus' name, Amen. Keep giving him those wonderful worship. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Let's come to testimonies. Thank you, worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? We thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank God that he is in our midst. Amen. In the book of 1 John, verse, 1 John chapter 4, verse 2, it reads, Every spirit that acknowledges and confesses that Jesus Christ has become man and has come in the flesh, he is of God. Amen. It says he has become man. Amen. So Jesus Christ was not a man and did not come. He has come. So he's in our midst right now in the auditorium. Let's clap hands for him. And he is our God. Amen. We only worship him. 
in 1 John chapter 5, verse 20, it also reads, And we have seen and known positively that the Son of God has actually come to this world and has given us understanding and insight progressively to perceive and recognize and come to know better and more clearly him who is true. We are in him who is true, the Son, Jesus Christ. This man is the true God. Hallelujah. This man is the true God, and he has come. He has come. He is here. Let's clap hands for him one more time. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, we thank you for tuning in. This is RTV, where fulfillment is captured. We believe that this anointing that is operating here is also touching you at home as you are watching. Distance is not a barrier. It is time for testimonies, and we're going to hear how God is glorified. Amen. So the first person who is going to be giving us a testimony is Miss Rosina Mudise. And the second testimony will be coming from two young girls who are anonymous and we will not be revealing their identity for their protection and for the nature of their testimony. So with a round of applause, let us welcome Miss Rosina Mudise as she comes to the front. Let's keep clapping hands for her as she comes to the front. My name is Rosina Modise. My name is Rosina Modise and I stay in Harangua Zone 6. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And I'm also greeting my father and honoring him. My testimony goes like this. I started coming to Rabboni Center Ministries in the year 2014. Uh, I had come with my mother. Since, since, 2014, since 2014, I've got a lot of testimonies, but I'm not going to say it all as it will take me a while. Uh, about the way the man of God has helped me in my life. I am what I am today because of him. I am a mother, I am a mother through him. Because they had taken me before previously and I did not know what was happening with me. So I thank the man of God for what he has made me today. My second testimony. It was during the Tuesday service. Uh, when the man of God was praying for us in the prayer line. I told him uh, the manner in which I came sick in the morning. I had uh, pains in my stomach. I had period pains. That was not happening to me for the first time. I 
This has been a recurring problem since I was a child. It started like this. Whilst I was at school when I was young, and when I was in a classroom, I had terrible pains that when I encountered them, I could not sit down and I had to spend time sleeping. I would sleep a lot. And when I went to clinics, I could not get help. Now, at this moment, I want to thank the man of God. He made me drink the treasures of darkness anointing oil. And I drank the whole bottle. At night, I felt, I felt something coming out out of me. I called my mother and I showed her the things that were coming out of me and I told her, I don't know what is this. After that thing came out, or those things came out, I did not experience pain anymore. Now I thank you, my father. I don't even um, believe what I am today. Um, and now my daughter can call me mother. I thank you, my father, for making me a mother who can stand in the congregation and speak. Thank you, my father. And I'm saying this to all the mothers. I'm saying that when we encounter problems, we shouldn't run away from our children. We should support them at all times. I am so thankful for accepting Jesus in my life. I thank you, my father. I thank you, my father. I thank you a lot, my father. And I'm encouraging all of you that everything that our father says, we should receive it and accept it in our hearts, even if he says, the judge you, the Lord is with you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. That was a testimony from Ms. Rosina Mudisa from Harangua, giving glory unto the Lord for the deliverance that she received from menstrual pains. As she mentioned that uh, she was given the anointing oil treasures of darkness to drink, and then that's when she last experienced those pains. Let's clap hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the second and the last testimony for the day, um, we are going to watch a video uh, from Ms. Johanna Musitlane as well as Ms. Refilo Tlo. Let's watch. Oh, I know. 
have blocked her. She is suffering from period pain. that you're always protecting her. She was suffering from period pains and after our father prayed for her right now she was saying that the pains are gone let's let hands for jesus amen amen i uh, would like to ask for forgiveness that was the deliverance uh, clip that we saw when miss rosina mudisa was being prayed for by the father of the house our father through the gospel professor lisa daniel um now we are now going to welcome brother Menzi with uh, the announcements. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, due to some technical uh, problems uh, concerning the second testimony, uh, we will not be able to watch it on, uh, on our screens, but however, we will make sure that we fix uh, the testimony and also that you will be able to watch it uh, later on. So right now, just with a few announcements, those that would like to follow us on our social media platforms, you can just uh, go to Facebook. Uh, we are Raboni Center Ministries. Uh, you can just like our page there and see uh, all the testimonies as well as the uh, teachings of our Father as well as the disciples that we post on Tuesday, Friday, as well as on Sunday. You can also watch our live rebroadcast uh, on YouTube. We can follow us, we are Raboni Center Ministries, or you can watch us live right now from YouTube and also just see what is happening uh, concerning the ministry and the videos that we will be playing. Um, hallelujah, let's clap hands for Jesus. Uh, it seems like God has worked out a miracle. We will be watching that testimony after all. So let us look at the screens as we watch the testimony. Let's clap hands for Jesus. On 12 June 2018, during the Tuesday prayer line with the man of God, Professor Lesiko Daniel, two young girls who are students confessed to the man of God about accessing the question paper before the exam. And as a result, they were caught and to be suspended for five years or expelled completely from the school. The man of God, Professor Lesiko Daniel, advised the girls to confess the truth to the school authorities on how they got the exam paper. The following day, they followed instruction given by the man of God and went to confess the whole truth at their school authorities. After confessing, the school authorities forgave the two young girls for the offense they committed, and they changed the penalty from five years of being expelled completely to four days. Let's give God the glory for his mercy to the two girls from five years of being expelled completely to four days. To God be the glory. Get out the hoodie, 
tsa phutheho le papa mo dineng la rara la morale la moya o bitsebo ke dilo fa testimony ka ntlhoring ira hetse ka di 12 tsa june ke na le tshomi ya ka eh na le this guy o mong wa it ara motlaetse o ri file ri mkhopetse eh paper 2 ya meze then are fa yona as na re fa yona then ra prithisa ga yona ra kwala ga yona ra fa le tshumi ya rona ra mfa le memorandum wa then then tshumi ya rena ba mo kere ya o kotsi diphosa tsa memorandum then after ba mutisa hore o tsa ka idilo tsena then a botsa a a botsa ma teacher hore o ditsa morona then lona tsa tsilo ga di 12 ba re bitsa ba botle ba re sekisa hore this thing re tsa kae re file ke mangi then ra ba explain la hore file ke IT guy wa moskolong then o re file le memorandum from there ba re botsa hore tomorrow re tle le di parents tsa rona njo ba ile re botsa nyona gore ba ga re fa suspension ya 5 years or ba are ba ga re expel la go skolong and then are kwa le le final ya rona then that day re tlile mo kere keng ra tlo bona ra tla mo kere keng ara botsa papa the whole story ho re hira hetseng then papa are botsa hore re bolele nete are fa le anointing oil ho re bolele nete then a hona ntho be lo e be lo re botsa nyona e bed then the following day ra ga 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 di parents tsa rona go skolong then di parents tsa rona ba botsa di parents tsa rona hore ba ra ba explain la the whole story ka mko ira hetseng ka teng then ba re fa ba re fa suspension ya 7 days he re sa ba le di le di weekend tse le di weekend tse ke 4 days and then papa na re file a nenting o le hore ditsa se ka yona ka rata ho lo ha papa thata ka ntho a re re letse nyona ka mo ha o mo dimo a nka fa tshomi ya ka ora tse le be e a nenting o ile ela ke i yo ka mandite i re re letse motlholo motlholo o re boning ke la ntla go bona le kera to le boha papa ka ntho e o re thusitse kera to mo le boha thata as chumi ya ka boletse story so sotlhe e ka le boha ka mo khekeleng kha re jang ga teng hore le 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 sa le sa chidang it doesn't mean hore tsintsi le chide and then e bile tlo re ila ya go papa hore o tla le thusa a le fa anointing oil le sa e tsambiao ntjo ke le botsa nyana gore le sa tshitang le sa itsang dilo tse rong ka le bo let's clap hands for jesus one more time those were beautiful testimonies and we thank god that we have been blessed by them and we I encouraged and also as they advised that we should not uh, take advantage of the anointing here, knowing that we will only uh, be saved from whatever trouble we're in. What is best is just to continue to be uh, in the grace of God. As the Bible says that should we continue to sin uh, because of grace by no means. So we are just going to uh, thank God for the testimonies that we just received and we believe that those who are watching uh, from home also, we are yet to um, receive more from above and we are going to continue to watch uh, another clip that comes forward. Let's clap hands for Jesus as we watch more. Ne re 
It's very question paper. So. Yes. Like from other guy or IT, like Irmadraizi, Ripular Communicator Liena. Then, but it's very so. Panyakore expella or suspender or who was at Samarao. So, meaning, Lutu is a question paper. No, are you to allow you to value for you and I came to IT? Ulutu is a no, 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 like kilos are high and get so like. Really practice, yes. Okay. What is with you? They received a leaked question paper from some IT guy and now they've been expelled from school. They also uh, they want to expel them from school, pardon. And now uh, they are going for hearing tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God that they eventually they confessed. Amen. Uh, when you stand before God, you tremble with fear. Amen. But we, as our Father always says, we should speak the truth and uh, it will set you free. Amen. You will receive your deliverance and you will unlock yourself from the prison that you're in. Amen. So quickly, just with a furthermore announcements, you can follow us also on Twitter at I am Liseho Daniel. And you can also go to our Instagram. And our Instagram handle there is Prof Liseho Daniel. And you can also uh, send in your Instant miracle testimonies are on our WhatsApp number, which is plus two seven eight one three nine six four zero two one. It's also written on your screens there. I'll repeat it plus two seven eight one three nine six four zero two. This is strictly for the testimonies that uh, you receive as the men of God ministers, uh, prophetic deliverances, or declares uh, and prays for the viewers at home all over the world. You can just touch your screen and you receive an instant miracle. You can just send in uh, your testimony uh, for that miracle that you just received. We thank God for that. Let's welcome back the worship team as they take us to the word of God. Let's clap hands for them. Hallelujah. Let's all stand on our feet. Great are you, Lord. Great are you. Great are you, Lord. Great
could never stay.